this is how I roll. I was in the middle of a project decorating this table to show you, and I decided at the last minute, why don't I go consignment shopping and look for some furniture, especially a sofa. It's raining, and I might as well just go out and spend the day. And it's so nice to see that chivalry is not dead. My husband is actually pulling my car out for me because of the rain. Thank you for watching Linda Smith Davis's New England Fine Living. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It really helps my channel out. We haven't taken a ride together for quite a while. I don't think we've taken a ride together since we moved here, possibly. But I thought it was going to be snowing out. I thought we'd take a nice drive to do some shopping. I need to get some gifts for our children. And I'm going to go to a consignment store and hopefully find a sofa. I know it's going to be a rare shot, but it's raining. And uh, one of my friends told me that it could be black ice out here. So, and I do understand it's 35 degrees. My car is telling me I'm near a stone wall. So I'm going to take you on this ride and we're gonna go check some stores out. Some of you have asked if the road in front of our house was a road or a, our driveway and it is a town plowed road. And Ben yesterday said when the sanding truck went by, they're sanding the road for a dirt road, which we know it was icy, but it is kind of funny if you think about it. They went by with the sander and now it's on the dirt road. But he did go out this morning and told me it was quite icy on this road. So I'm glad that they did it. Hopefully by the time I'm out driving, the roads won't be as slippery. But just a few seconds right now, the temperature has dropped a little bit. So maybe we will get some snow during our drive. Well, I made it to the consignment store and I beelined it first to the sofa section and my eye spotted this one. It was about 94 inches long, which was perfect for the room. The price was right at $8.99 on sale and I knew for a fact that I could have this slip covered and I thought the styling was great. I even sat on it, it was comfortable, but I'll let you know now, I went back because I had it on hold actually. I went back later in this same day and sat on every single cushion and found out that one of the cushions underneath the springs had gone so I sunk right in. So it was a no-go unfortunately. Not that I need it. My eye did gravitate to this large cabinet. I liked the glass lit, but I believe it would be way too tall for any space in our home. I should mention that sometimes when I go out for consignment shopping and thrift store shopping, there is a difference a lot of times with the pricing. Now, Consignment does not always mean inexpensive. It means that it's a lesser price, usually than retail, because that is being split with the owner of the item that still owns it. So you'll see later, I do pick up a carpet, 
It's not inexpensive per se, but it was quite a savings from a real retail that I would have paid at a local store. There are several sideboards at this store that I actually videotaped a couple weeks ago and I never shared it. And I do like them for the dining room. I will be doing a dining room makeover at one point where it's a little bit more upscale and a little bit more traditional furniture, but I think it's gonna wait for now. I really wanna focus on finding the furniture for the great room and I am painting some other rooms in the house right now as I'm editing this video, but you'll see that later on some other time. I do like how this consignment store has shopping carts and today I put it to good use. It looks like I took a wrong turn. I'm blocked in and I want to get over to this sideboard here. I did look at this piece a couple weeks ago as well. This is a beautiful piece of furniture. I just like the detailing on it but once again I'm not ready to pull the trigger on a dining room piece unless I find the exact piece I'm looking for, then I would purchase it. For part of the kitchen remodel, we are discussing having a cabinet with glass up top in between the two windows at the end of the kitchen. And sometimes I've also been looking at pieces of furniture. This piece would work, and then I'm going to show you one a little bit later that's at Ethan Allen that I've been looking at that would work as well. But until once again I sit and look at measurements and really make a firm kitchen design plan, I'm not going to think about this one right now. If anybody's looking for a clown painting, here it is. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. My eye is being caught by two leather sofas over here and we are considering leather. I just feel they'll be a little bit big and bulky in the room even though the room could probably handle it. This just isn't quite the look I'm going for with the arm on this one, but they were very comfortable and it is a seems to be a fairly nice quality leather. The length and size of this piece would be great in the great room also under the artwork I just hung, but the door style isn't quite what I'm looking for. I'm still going to take some measurements of this piece because once I get home, you know, it's something that may end up working. I'm also trying to make sure to look at the back of every sofa that I look at because the back of the sofa will be exposed in the great room. And the two chairs that I wanted a couple weeks ago, they're still here. But, you know, when I sent the picture to Ben again, they're not quite his style. And I really don't need two more chairs right now. I'll probably kick myself one more time. But I think these would be so cute in a different fabric. I just love the French country style of these. This store, like many others, has a markdown system. So as of today, the price would be down to $5.94 for the pair with the ottoman. Would someone please give these a home so I'm not tempted the next time I come in? Now I'm going to head over to the rug department. Now I wasn't expecting to find a rug for the great room, but I did find one, you know, another spoiler alert. I did find it, I bought it, and you'll see that in a moment. 
but you never know what you're going to find at a consignment store. Things are always changing, coming and going, and I looked here a couple weeks ago. This carpet was not here, and I knew it was perfect. I was making my way over to the bench thinking of the porch, but NFS, not for sale. That's such a tease. For the right home, this rocker would be fantastic on a porch or in a lodge room. It's such a neat piece. Not for Sugarwood though. And from a distance, I could tell this rug was going to be the size I was looking for. It was large. I could also tell it was more of a quality rug because of the weight of it. Now this is a machine made rug. This is by Karistan and I do have other Karistans in the home. My, my mother had a lot of Karistans in her home. So I do like this brand. Once again, it's machine made, but the quality is nice. And this is the fabric from the sofa that I thought I was going to buy. I wanted to see how it looked before I did the slip cover because there is a long wait for slip covering right now. And on another table I found this box. I have been searching high and low for a box to hold tea. One of my girlfriends when I go over her house she always brings out her tea box and it's such a nice presentation and I was pleased to find that. In the distance there's a green bowl. I found it on a bottom shelf and I put it up high so I could look at it. As soon as I saw this bowl, I envisioned it holding all of the paper whites that I like to plant after Christmas so I can enjoy them going into the winter months. It does have a little chip in it, but I can put some water sealant in that. And I'm also going to use it on the kitchen table for some greens. And I already put together an arrangement. I'm gonna show you that in a video that's soon coming. This was another higher price consignment item, but I liked the quality, it was made in Italy, and I know I'll use it a lot. I'm on a roll. I also found a bag of golden pear ornaments. I'm using them on a tablescape that I'll be showing you in another video. And they also went on the kitchen tree with the pears. Now here's a rare find, a set of 12 candle rings. You usually find six, four, but I love the fact that there's 12 here and these are pewter and I also put these in my cart. I couldn't help myself and once again I've already used these and you'll see those in another quick tablescape I'll be showing you soon. Like a magpie I was drawn to this shiny piece. It is by Reed and Barton which is also a old New England brand here. And it was marked down, let me see, I'm looking at my dates here. I think it was $17 I ended up getting it for. And I knew exactly I'd be using it for Christmas. And I could see also some plants in this if I wanted to do paper whites in this as well. So that also went in my cart. I could almost see this in the nautical themed dining room. But I think I need to get out of here. I'm going a little bit purchase crazy right now. This is when I wish I brought the truck with me. If it doesn't fit, I should say if the rug doesn't fit, we will have to come back with the truck. And I need to vacuum my car. Here it comes. <laughs> uh, all right, what do you think? Uh, you be able Hold to it right in the middle. Put your hand in the middle. Yeah, I can walk right into it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to be fun taking this out with my husband. Oh, you guys rock. <laughs> awesome. Hey, right. wait a minute. I pushed it. <laughs> there you go. Thank right. you. Well, that was an unexpected purchase, but I'm pleased with it. Very pleased with it. And now I'm heading over to Ethan Allen and just looking at the pretty table displays. I'm also going to go into their clearance room and see what they might have for sofas. They didn't have anything. But this piece has been catching my eye also for a long time. And I was thinking about this for the kitchen, but I think the height is not what I could handle there because of a beam. I was a little excited to find boxed greens at a local farm stand. It is just what I was looking for to work around the house. 
and then uh, actually on another day I'm going to show you these I found these soup spoons or bullion spoons at an antique store in Peterborough I just wanted to show you because those will be in a tablescape and here's the rug all laid out the colors are perfect in here the blue green that I have in the new painted wall here is also in the area rug and the greens, I once I got them home, I gave them a little snip at the bottom and I put them in some water and the next day I will be playing with these. I already filled up my tea box with some teas and then in a moment I'm going to show you I did buy my paper white bulbs. I believe I found them at Lowe's. I wanted to have them on hand and for those who've been following you know I plant these after Christmas because I want to have a little bit of a spring feel going into the stronger winter months here in New England. Now let me show you the Christmas tree decorations. I did get the bin out from the storage area and this year I'm going to do pretty much the same look. This Christmas tree I did find at a consignment store last year and I love it. it. This has the white, it has the colored lights. $35. Right now I have it propped up on a wicker chair or a stool. And these are the applesauce cinnamon ornaments that I made last year. And I'm going to grab my little elf here who usually is the tree topper. He's holding a pear and a little basket with pears in it. You will see in a moment that on this tree I like to have, I have faux apples, I have the dried apple slices that I've done, I have the orange slices that I've done, and I also add the copper cookie cutters that I used to use when I was a little girl. So when I look at this tree every morning, it really is a nice little sweet treat to see that and it brings back memories of when I was little making cookies during Christmas. Now I'll show you the finished tree during the Christmas house tour and it's really all I added was more of a few more ornaments but I'm pleased at how this is coming out. Here's an unexpected way I got some greens for our Christmas decorations and it wasn't by purchasing them at a farm stand. Last night we had a very severe windstorm and we also had a lot of rain. I said I should probably put my car inside because these, two, these trees here, we've already been told have to come down because they are all diseased. And this is what we woke to. Yeah, this was just close enough. We do have a tree service coming in. They're going to be taking down all of these pines that are around the garage and the house. Anything that is unhealthy that can crush the house is coming down. And like I said, unfortunately, these are all diseased. And I gotta go get my keys and we're gonna put the car in the garage. I left it outside last night not remembering because I put the uh, carpet in the back. Another thing I also just realized is I was looking high up at these trees a couple days ago wishing I could get some of the greenery. Well, I guess I got my wish. Now I have some more pickings for my interior decorating. Gotta look at the positive. Hey, and we also have some firewood. Gotta look at the positive. All right, I think I should get out from underneath this tree. It's still windy out. Christmas seems to be coming very fast this year, but I do have a few more videos in queue that I'm finishing up for you. 
and then I will be focusing on family, Christmas, the reason for this holiday, and then we'll be going into the new year. But let's not talk about the new year quite yet. I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, I would love you to do so. To my subscribers, thank you so much for following along. I really appreciate it. Bye now.